Hey, what's up, man? It's TK. Listen, man. <laughs> I just watched Wonder Woman 1984. And, you know, I knocked back a couple of tall boys, so I didn't really get it. So I was like, I didn't understand Wonder Woman 1984. Then I was like, I'm going to go to the source material. So I read 1984. <laughs> They're not the same story <laughs> at all. So upon rewatching Wonder Woman as I do in my astute state, <laughs> I was like, wow, man, this is awesome, right? Like, you got the Mandalorian, and he's, like, got brought his, like, favorite rock from his rock collection. And he's like, listen, man, life sucks, but it could be better, right? <laughs> you just need magic rocks. Which is, you know, basically Thanos' whole thing. And so, like, the Mandalorian, like, gets his stone. And he's like, I wish this stone was, like, not necessary. Right? He's like, I wish that I would be the wishy wish. And so, like, Wonder Woman, right, in all her, you know, her regality or whatever. She's like, you know what? I'm going to straight up make a wish. And, like, we get to see, like, this part of Wonder Woman, right? Like, what does Wonder Woman need? You know? Because she's, she's, like, she's, like, got the hair, and she's got the physicality, and she's got the looks and the brains and the accent and everything. What does she need? Right? She's, like, make a wish on the magic stone. Boom. Captain Kirk arrives. But, like, not fully. Okay? And, and... And, like, people are like, oh, man, he, like, possessed some dude's body and, like, put on a fanny pack. He doesn't understand trash cans and stuff. But then Wonder Woman and him, like, make wild, sweet, you know, Wonder Woman love with Captain Kirk. But it's just, like, his soul in someone else's body. And people are, like, had a whole, like, problem with that. But, like, Avatar, like, that guy made a whole family. And that's not his body. And everybody's just cool with that. You know? It's just, like... It's probably because James Cameron, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> anyway, man. So like, so like, like Captain Kirk comes back alive for a day and like they go to a museum, they like flies a plane, you know, and then like at one point he like grabs the Mandalorian and like you think he's going to make a wish, but he totally doesn't. And then Wonder Woman's like, wait a second, I totally shouldn't have wished you alive. And he's like, yeah, you, you like, you brought me back. We had a good time. Now I got to go back to Captain Kirk heaven, you know? And so she like, <laughs> like her whole thing, her whole thing is like, man, if you wish for something and it's bad for someone else, then don't wish that. Okay. Even though she basically, like, lived out her fantasy and was, like, already done. She was like, oh, I wish I didn't do that. Which is, like, you know, every time you have a one-night stand with a stranger, you, you totally renounce your wish. Like, oh, like, you're at the bar and you're like, man, oh, that chick is, that's the one, right? And then you go home and then, like, her wig falls off or something and you, like, renounce your wish. But you're in the middle of it. What are you going to do, right? Like, seriously, man. And then, like, the best part is there's, like, this nerdy chick, right? And then she takes off her glasses and she's, like, she's super hot. And then she becomes, like, a like a leper or some shit. And, and Wonder Woman puts on this badass gold outfit with these wings and stuff, right? And, like, that's how I see myself. Like, like not as a woman. I mean, you know, not all the time, right? Like, like I'm talking, like, isn't in a gold suit, you know? Like a like a pimped out dude, Wonder Woman. That's how I see my life, you know. One Wonder Dude, right? And like, I can achieve that because because I agree with the Mandalorian that you know life sucks, but it could be better if you just had a gold suit with wings on it and you look like Wonder Woman, you know. But like like whatever Wonder Woman looks like as a dude. So that's my goal in life, man. It's just to. You know, I don't need to wish for stuff. I just need to live my life. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got to go, man. I'm call your mom.